guys, this is Chad here and I'm doing games with beginner's tips. And today we're going to talk about a couple of mechanics that maybe if you're new to magic and you don't really know what they do, uh, what we're going to explain it to you. We're going to talk about double strike, we're going to talk about flash with, and vigilance, and we're going to talk about intimidate. And so the first thing we're going to talk about is double strike. And double strike may sound pretty straightforward. Um, it may sound like it's just going to do double damage. So this guy, Fencing Ace, he's a 1-1 he's a one -one with double strike. And so a lot of new players just think that he, when he attacks or blocks, he just does two instead of one. That's not the case at all. What he actually does is he does first strike damage, and then if he survives, he does regular damage. So he does two packets of, two packets of one instead of one packet of two. So for instance, if we attacked with, with this Fencing Ace, and they didn't block, he would do first strike and regular damage. So he would do two damage to a player. But now assuming we attacked Fencing Ace and they blocked with their with their 2-1, Fencing Ace would deal first strike and would kill this 2-1 and this 2-1 would not kill the Fencing Ace. The 2-1 would die, they wouldn't take any damage because he's blocked now. So he just did his first strike and he doesn't do double strike at this point because there's no there's nothing but to do damage to. But the best way to look at cards with double strike is to look at them with as if they have first strike. That's all you need to do. You, just, you need to pretend they have first strike and then know that if they survive the first strike combat, know that they deal damage again. And so that's 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 pretty much it for double strike. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about flash and vigilance as abilities. And flash is an ability that catches a lot of new players off guard because it makes any creature with flash on it be instant speed. A lot of people say, you know, they understand instance, they know that you can play them, you know, there, there are specific spells that you can play whenever you want. But almost no creatures are like that. And so what makes Flash really cool in a creature is it allows you to do a lot of interesting things. So let's say they attack with this 2-2 and you have 4 mana open. After they've declared attacks, you can flash this guy in at instant speed and block. And so their 2-2 their two, two dies to your 2-4. And now you've effectively used this as a rule spell. You've gotten rid of one of their cards. You get to keep your card, which is really cool. He's riding the horse. And um, so it's, it's just an, an interesting way to add more to the game than just play a guy on your turn. You play a guy on your turn. We're going to block. Like he's not going to attack with his 2-2 two, two or 2-4 two, if this guy's in play already. But if he's not in play and he thinks the coast is clear, you just get him with your horse guy, and then this guy dies, and, and you're excited. So another way that you can use Flash is you can play Flash at the end of their turn, and on your turn, your guy can attack. Because as long as your creature has been in play since the beginning of your upkeep, it does not have summoning signals. So you can play at the end of the turn, you know, they don't have anything, you know, as a surprise, then you can, you can attack. Um, the other mechanic on this card is Vigilance. And Vigilance is really interesting. Vigilance lets you attack without having to tap. And so the reason why it's good is because this guy's a 2-4. He's, he's a 2-4. His job in this game is to block. He, he just looks like a blocker. He just, that's, that's what he's printed to do. So he lets you attack, but also hold back to be able to block. And so this card's very powerful um, and limited, and it's, it's got some cool mechanics, and, it, and it's a good card to play with to, to teach you how to play with Flash and Vigilance. All right, the last mechanic we're going to talk about is Intimidate. And Intimidate's a pretty cool mechanic. What Intimidate does is it makes this creature with Intimidate not be able to be blocked except by creatures of its same color or artifacts. So for instance, this guy's red, this guy's white. I tap with my red huge board guy. It's pretty cool. Um, and they can't block with their white guy. This guy just kind of sits there and stares at it and realizes that he can't block takes three damage. So, uh, the, what's, in, what's people get confused about with Intimidate though is it's not unblockable. Some, a lot of new players will play and they'll think, oh, you just played an unblockable guy, I can never block ever. And sometimes you can't because sometimes you're a white-blue deck and you just can't do anything. But if, if you have a red guy, you can block this guy all day. If you have a red guy, this card is a four mana three two with no ability because he can be blocked because you guys are red. The same thing with artifact creatures. Artifact creatures are colorless. So they don't have a color, but they can block Intimidate guys. So, so Intimidate is, is a mechanic that can be confusing, but once you see it enough, you know that 
it's not that scary. You, you can block it with guys. It's not the end of the world. I know he looks terrifying. He has these huge tusks, but he can be blocked, and uh, it's just it's just not it's not unblockable. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped uh, a bunch of new players out, and uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time for beginner's tips.